Maka's Guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Maka here, bringing you all 30 nuclear waste available in Grand Theft Auto 5. This is the same for Xbox 360 as well as PS3 and on PC in the future if ever comes out. Um, so step one, you're going to want to purchase Sonar Collection Docks, which is in the northwest side of the map. And you're going to need, I believe, $250,000. And it's available after completing the Merryweather Heist. Now this is actually a good investment for you to do early on in the game because you can buy it for about 250,000 and you'll make about 650,000 just by completing this achievement and getting all 30 nuclear waste because you get rewarded $23,000 every time you collect one. Anyway, step two, get in the submarine and then s just start looking for them. Now, step number one, you're going to want your Trackify app and make sure to use that. Now, you might think this guide is a little bit useful based on the fact that you have your Trackify app and it tells you kind of where to go. but there are some that are very, very far apart, and the Trackify app will kind of point you towards the land, or it'll point you, uh, it won't always guide you to the best place. So what I recommend is using this guide, and then going to the approximate location of the uh, nuclear waste, and then following your Trackify app from there. Now there is a lot of useful information I'm providing on screen for every piece. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the exact map position as I am showing you here. And then from there, on the left hand bottom corner screen, side of the screen, you'll see how far the bottom of the ocean is and how far the top of the ocean is. So you can actually see how deep into the ocean I am and how deep you will need to be. So I can't tell because the numbers are too small for me while I'm recording, but there you see in the bottom left corner, it'll show you how deep I was from the ocean, um, the top of the ocean, I don't even know what the hell am I saying, from uh, sea level. Um, also another thing you can use here, my Trackify app, I turned it off by accident, but on the Trackify app you will have the little red blip, which you obviously use to find your uh, good position. But on top of that you'll have a little arrow in the top center of the screen and it'll be either pointing up or down and telling you a depth in terms of meters. If it's pointing up that means the nuclear waste is um, you know X amount of meters above you. For me right now it's pointing down which is obvious because the nuclear waste is directly below me. And as you see as I descend I uh, change that depth as well. So the Trackify app is very useful as well as uh, cross-referencing everything with this video for map positions as well as um, stuff like that. So when you go from four to five, Trackify will kind of guide you into the into the land. So you're gonna wanna go around everything and that's why this video is useful. Also another thing, uh, you can, the submarine is super slow. You're gonna need about two, maybe two and a half hours to do this achievement. It took me about, about two hours. And um, it's super slow and there's actually parts where you have to like just go in a straight line for almost 20 minutes to get to the next piece. So keep that in mind that you probably want to do that and um, you probably all want to do it at once so that you don't waste too much time going around in circles. When you do collect the last piece you unlock the achievement so there's no need to worry about having to get the submarine all the way back. Now another thing that can happen is if you uh, go too deep into the water you will reach crush depth. You'll get a warning on your screen that says you're in crush depth and in the bottom left corner it'll start flashing in red and that means you are too deep for the submarine and it'll start crushing and you will eventually die and uh, the submarine will crush on itself so you want to avoid that and keep your submarine in decent condition now for the submarine controls you use rt or the right trigger uh to go forward lt or the left trigger to go backwards you can use rb and lb which are the two bumpers to kind of turn as well as the regular analog stick to turn you can use x to ascend and go up uh in terms of uh depth or you can use a to descend and go down in terms of depth you can also just aim your submarine either up or down to ascend or descend. So keep both of those options in mind if you ever have to go really deep really fast. Uh, that's about it. I'm not going to go one by one every single uh, nuclear waste item here. I do believe I showed you guys the absolute best method for uh, in terms of the best order for collecting them. And uh, hopefully you guys will do it. It's kind of a boring achievement. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I hope the maps and all the tips that you have on screen will help you in this achievement and bring you one step closer to getting all the achievements. The achievement for this is called uh, Waste Management. It's worth 15 gamer score and I believe either a bronze or silver trophy. As always, I'll see you next time, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Peace.
all be fucked.